Hi Capricorn, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you are cross watching for a Capricorn, the energies could be vice versa. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Those of you that are looking for the singles section or the cross watchers section, there are timestamps in the description box below for you to skip ahead at any time. And thank you guys so much for hitting that like button. I do appreciate your support. It does help out my channel. So the person that Capricorn is dealing with, let's see. The person that Capricorn is dealing with. What happened in the past? Okay. So this situation just kind of seemed out of balance. Uh, a lot of sleepless nights. Okay. I feel like it's almost like you were begging for someone's attention, Capricorn. I have to tell you, that's the message I'm getting. If you were not doing that, not for you, but it's kind of like you could not get this person to see you. You felt like this person didn't see your worth. They could have been giving to another situation, Capricorn, or you had fears that they were giving to another situation. But they weren't, they just were not giving you what you deserve. Like they were not giving you a lot of attention here. And they could have taken your attention away. I mean, their, their attention away here, of course. Let's see. Well, of fortune, uh, you could have been dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. But you had to learn a hard lesson with this one, guys, is what I'm getting. You guys learned a lesson in the past, uh, okay, not to overplay your part or, you know, to know your worth and not beg for anyone's attention here. Look at this. Know your worth. The, uh, the devil, your energy, ace of pentacles. Okay, knowing that you're valuable. And I feel like you guys were just really stuck on this situation here for quite some time. How does uh, Capricorn see this person? You think you see them clearly? You know what they're about? It's what it's telling me, Queen of Swords. Some of you guys just, you know, you're setting boundaries here with someone. How you feel? Well, you're still broken hearted, right? Like somebody hurts you. For some of you guys, there could have been a third party involved, okay, but or, you know, something getting in the way of your connection here, maybe another person, but not for all of you. That's just, you, you feel upset, and you do miss this person, Six of Cups, but you know, you, you're, you're, you clearly see what they're about. You see them for who they are. How do they see Capricorn? Could be dealing with a Libra or an air sign. How do they see Capricorn? Oh, they want a fresh start. They saw you as like over giving. They liked the way you just lifted them. Some of you guys may have been dealing with a Pisces. How do they feel? How do they feel spirit like you two have unfinished business this person wants to reach out but i feel like they're hoping you do it they, they hope that you reach out because it seems like here in the past with the six of pentacles a lot of you guys may have been the first one to reach out or a lot of guys may have given this person a lot of your attention in general and that's what they want from you and they're not happy that you've taken your attention away they're not happy that you're not giving you're not overly giving anymore okay and whatever is in front of them right now, Capricorn, if whatever this third party is, they're not satisfied with that. They don't want to be there. They're not even mentally or emotionally where they are. Ten of Swords. They are not happy about the ending. They're not happy about your boundaries. Because you're, you've stopped giving to this or you stopped chasing someone or... You're just ignoring this person, they feel. They feel like you're ignoring them. And that, that hurts them with the Ten of Swords. You know, this person feels like it may be over between you two, and they don't like that. So what do they want from Capricorn? 
the world. The Ten of Cups. They want to begin a new chapter with you. Fixed energy. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Could be Cancer or Pisces. But somebody wants to start over or begin a new chapter here. Bottom of the deck for what you don't see. Four of Swords, Five of Cups. And what comes before the Four of Swords? The Three of Swords. They're thinking about your pain or, you know, this person is thinking about the pain. And they're wanting to take a break from the pain. Yeah, this, this person hopes you give them another chance to have swords judgment. They want a second chance with you. More fixed energy. Like they want to start a new chapter here. Their next actions. Woo! Y'all, this may shock you. They're coming in to shock you because this, the two of cups, this person is going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and that's going to throw you completely off. Because you're not used to this person having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. You're not used to this person pursuing you. You're not used to this person sharing how they feel. Okay? And how you're feeling, this person feels it. It's mutual. And I feel like the tower, that's going to shock you. There's definitely some type of epiphany this person is having. And they're wanting to come back toward you to reconcile. And they, they feel like you guys have unfinished business. Three of Cups, yeah. They want. I'm getting someone finding a solution and coming back toward you. They want to get to a better place with you, Capricorn. This may shock you, because I don't think you guys expect this person to return to your life, or 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 you don't expect this person to own up to the crap they did. I don't think you expect this person to uh, make amends with you, but that's what they're doing in the future with the current energy. This person is going to shock you. Let's see what their hidden truth is. What is their hidden truth? You didn't see my tears. That you didn't see at uh, the bottom of the deck. They know they messed everything up. The, you don't see how hurt they are. And they miss seeing you. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius for some of you, but they wish they had treated you better. They're hoping it's not too late, guys. And they really miss you. But I mean, again, here in the past, like, this person really had you restless, okay? But I'm getting like you want to forgive this person, but you also have boundaries now. Like, you want to forgive someone. I feel like you truly do want to forgive them, but you want them to give you a reason to forgive them. That's what they're about to do, guys. Just remember to use discernment, okay? We have strong Scorpio energy, strong Aquarius, Taurus, Leo energy, Pisces. Can we dealing with another Capricorn? We're going to take a look at you singles. Capricorn. Who's coming towards my single Capricorns? Who is coming towards my single Capricorns? Seven of Swords. Okay, so those of you that are going on blind dates or those of you that are online dating, just be very cautious who you're talking to. I feel like this person may not be who they say they are. Um, now don't be overly cautious. Don't be overly cautious or overly paranoid. However, if you're meeting somebody, my seven of swords card is to definitely make sure you're informing people that are close to you, where you're going, who you're meeting, what time you're meeting there. Um, just to be on the safe side. Okay. But they, they wear a mask really. Um, okay. I don't know. 
This person likes how reserved you are. Okay, you come across as someone who has a lot of integrity, reserved, uh, outspoken even, and honest. But this person is very reckless and careless. I don't think you like, I don't think you're going to like this person. Now, is that a reason to not give someone a chance? No. Um, you know, I'm not saying like right off your next date, but I am saying just, you know, make sure you are seeing the situation for how it truly is because I do feel like you see someone as smug. I feel like you see someone as selfish. Uh, they, they see you in a good light. You're not really seeing them in the best light. Let's see what is coming towards Capricorn. Yeah, your boundaries, healthy boundaries, you just speaking up and being direct. You're not going to be afraid to speak up here because it's like you know what you want and you're not going to settle for that. And so I feel like that's a good thing. Manifesting whatever it is you want by healthy boundaries is what I'm getting. I'm also getting some of you guys are, you know, you could be. I'm also getting something to do about you guys manifesting. Uh, You could be someone who has something to communicate here. And I feel like a lot of you guys may be manifesting a business. Okay, if you so choose so, this is, ener this is potential energy for you. I do feel like you have some type of talent here, especially when it comes to communicating. There's some type of talent you have, okay? Um, so just pay attention to that. So I do see you guys manifesting a business or manifesting communication. Like you guys are manifesting communication here. Could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm also getting, you guys are just manifesting healthy love with the Knight of Cups clarifying that because you're not settling. So definitely don't settle for anything here. We have Aquarius energy, the two of swords. Yeah, I, you know, I just kind of feel like, I just kind of feel like, you know, there's someone coming towards you and you may be their lesson and you're not interested in like teaching. Okay. Uh, yeah. Five of swords. So you just kind of see this person as smug. You see them as a game player. You see them as sneaky. Some of you guys even think they're a cheater. Guess what? They see you in a good light. They see you as someone who has attractive qualities. You're reserved. You're exactly what they're looking for, but too bad, right? Because I feel like this person does have a tendency to be like, walk on the dangerous side, or they're very reckless. They're very careless, okay? And you're picking that up. You're going to be in this energy of like, eh, should I deal with this person? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Especially if you're dealing with someone, Capricorn, that seems really shady from the get-go. Okay, some of you guys are going to be picking up on an energy of someone being a juggler. So here's the good news. This is just to help prevent you per, uh, prevent you from falling into this trap, okay? I do see you guys actually manifesting uh, healthy love here in the future if you don't settle for just the next thing that comes in is what I'm getting. So just kind of be vigilant. Uh, keep your eyes open when it comes to people uh, you know, coming into your life. I feel like someone thinks they're really good at wearing this mask. They think they're really good at it, but you see right through it. You may second guess it, though, with the Two of Pentacles. You're like, eh, am I just am I just making this up? Am I seeing something that's... No, you're not. This person is exactly how you see them. So there is healthy love coming in, but just be mindful of the creeps. Don't give your time and energy to the creeps, okay? And I'll tell you what, this person seems to really like you, though. So I'd also be mindful with who you give your phone number to. Give them like a social media, not a phone number or whatever you feel would be better. <laughs> okay. Um, we have Virgo, Libra, Aries could be coming towards you, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, strong Aquarius, and Libra. Yeah, because that's what's happening. Page of uh, Wands. Somebody here is going to come in and ask for your phone number. Um, I would give them like a social media. I wouldn't give them your phone number unless you have a lot of like personal stuff on your social media. But I would just be careful who you give any sort of information to in general the next seven days. All right, we're going to do cross watchers. Let's see. Click to the time stamps if you guys want to bypass the shuffling. All right.
right, Aries through Pisces. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries has taken a step back to think about their next steps. I feel like this Aries is in pain and they're over the situation and they're wanting to heal from that situation. They're wanting to take a break from the pain that they feel. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is focused on their work. If you're dealing with a Gemini. This Gemini, uh, you know, they want to get to a better place with you. The lovers, yeah. The Gemini wants to get to a better place with you, but they can feel your boundaries, that you're setting boundaries with them. If you're dealing with a Cancer, this Cancer is motivated to come see you. They don't, they don't like the distance. If you are dealing with a Leo, this Leo thinks about you a lot. They want to surrender to the connection. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is waiting for an opportunity to talk to you. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra wants to reunite or just come together in general, okay? Uh, some of you guys, if it's a new Libra, they want to date you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, this Scorpio wants to reunite or, again, date you, be with you, come together. They feel a very strong connection with you. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this Sagittarius has a tendency to be manipulative, okay? Um... I feel like the situation's not in balance, and I also feel like the Sagittarius, they're a really good, like, they're a smooth talker. They want communication, but just be mindful of their manipulation, their manipulative ways. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, they have romantic feelings for you. If you are dealing with an Aquarius, ooh, this Aquarius wishes to be with you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces is in love with you. Okay, guys, I hope this gave you some clarity. I hope you guys got something out of this. So if the messages did not resonate with you, be sure to check your other signs or check back next time. Um, until next time, bye.